Hello and a very good afternoon to you all. We're gonna do the next part of the Billy Korean mode. Well, we're gonna do three we're gonna do three videos in March instead of the two we were originally planning because we're gonna devote this first part of this video exclusively to this League Cup final. A Wembley occasion it deserves all its devotion and it deserves all its attention really. So we're gonna do that and uh and I think that's I think that's the best way we could possibly do it. So we play Chelsea in the League Cup final. This is our first ever League Cup final. Chelsea have played in several and have won about three or four, four or five times, I think, in their history. The League Cup. Burnley have never won it. Now that's the that's to come. Now let's have a look at the League Cup final. This is how the teams got there. From the round of 16 onwards, Manchester United were beaten 3-0 by Burnley, then Spurs were beaten 5-0 by the Corrits in the quarter-finals. And then Burnley won 2-1 in the first leg at home to Arsenal, when the game was evenly poised, and then beat them by three goals to nil at the Emirates to book their place at Wembley. Chelsea on the other hand, they, their round of 16, they went to Charlton at the Valley and won 2-0, then they went to Swansea and won 5-0, and then they beat Chelsea over two legs by two goals to nil. If we look back to earlier rounds as well of the League Cup, I think we should I think we should have a look at that as well. Because I think it's worth knowing that there that there were some earlier games. Burnley started their campaign with a four 0 victory over Fleetwood Town. And let's see if Chelsea were Involved in any of it. I don't think they were. And if they were, I well, got through no problem at all. Nope, they would have come in in the next round. And they beat Cheltenham Town by two goals to one. West Ham were beaten 4 0 by Burnley. And of course, round four, Burnley won 3 0 at Old Trafford and Chelsea won 2 0 at Charlton. In the quarters, 5 0 to Burnley over Spurs. Chelsea beat Swansea by the same scoreline. And then in the semi final first legs, it was 2 1 to Burnley against Arsenal. Chelsea won Liverpool 0. Then Burnley won 3 0 at the Emirates and Chelsea won 1 0 at Anfield. And this takes us to the, this very final. We're going to Wembley now very shortly for the League Cup final. Burnley's first ever against Chelsea would Chelsea's big names triumph over Burnley's battling spirit well we'll see but Burnley are not the sort of side to roll over easily it's a, it's a final between the league's top two teams Burnley top of the league against Chelsea but the league the league matters that will happen in other videos but right now we're devoting this video entirely to this league cup final between Burnley and Chelsea at Wembley Stadium And a very good afternoon to you all at Wembley Stadium for the first domestic cup final of the season. It's Burnley against Chelsea and the two teams are out and walking past that free-handled League Cup. 1961 was the year when this first trophy was first won by Aston Villa. Burnley, who before this season had reached three semi-finals previously, have now got the opportunity in their first final but they're gonna have to do it without top scorer Danny Ings he's out with an hamstring injury so he'll sit out there so Harry Kane comes in otherwise it's the same 11 that uh, knocked in a few goals against Liverpool two days previously Chelsea have had a little bit more of a rest admittedly than the Clarets Kibo Courtois is in goal Cesc Babagas, Diego Costa all in there William Azar, Matic and Marie John Terry and Gary Cale, plenty of experience at the back. It's Chelsea's best 11 by a long chalk. And if they need any any other strikers, Didier Drogba's on hand. He's the man for the occasion, usually, when it comes to Chelsea at Wembley. Two friends up against each other, John Terry, the Chelsea captain. And on the other side, Burnley's midfield dynamo at the moment. January transfer signing Frank Lampard 
And the man in charge, Craig Pawson, his first major cup final. Let's hope he hasn't got any controversial decisions to make in this uh, particular final. Chelsea in the blue. And this League Cup final is about to get underway. And this really will be a real test of Burnley's nerve. Chelsea have been in these finals so many times before, but having Frank Lampard, who's on the ball now, and dispossessed his old friend John Terry, he'll have that little bit of experience and know-how and a bit of cunning in that Burnley midfield area. But so far, it's Chelsea breaking with Asper. Quite a bit. Kurt Zuma, who's a Chelsea lonely. We dearly love to put one on his parent club. Intercepts. Kitely. David Jones has had a tremendous goal scoring record, as you well know, from the midfield area. Now he's got into a good position here. Two waiting in the middle, folks, and Kane with one of them. Ampar was right on the edge of the area, but it comes away here for Chelsea. Ramirez dispossessed, here's Lampard, so a wonderful ball forward but folks can't control it, Kane can now, Harry Kane, oh wonderful play there, but good defending again and the whistle's gone I think, I think he's given a free kick to Chelsea there Mr Pawson. We've well, now gone almost at Wembley, in the League Cup final, 0-0. First domestic honour of the season up for grabs here at Wembley today between the league's top two. Here comes Chelsea on the attack. And they've got him behind here. This could be trouble for Burnley. Oh, what a good tackle from Jason Shackle. He did magnificently well, the Burnley captain, but then his colleague. Ward played him into trouble and it could have been costly there for the Correts. This is the shackle tackle again. In fact, there was an offside, in fact, against Diego Costa. So the tackles didn't really matter anyway in terms of the grand scheme of things. Here's uh, Kurt Zuma for, Ch uh, for Burnley. That's yes, his parent club, of course, Chelsea. Here's uh, David Jones. So a fine season goal scoring wise in midfield but he's pulled up here and that could be trouble here for David Jones and Burnley here feeling the effects of being in four competitions it's so hard when your squad is spread bare and with the budget Burnley had in January their only option was to really the players in they could re really afford they have signed a two or three new quality players for next season but here's Jones not letting the injury bother him and so and so Vokes now with the first real opportunity of the final and Vokes has missed it well Vokes who got a hat-trick on Friday night against Liverpool in front of the cop oh you'd have backed him nine times out of ten to have buried that one 31 minutes gone at Wembley in the Capital One Cup League Cup final. Burnley nil, Chelsea nil. Been a cagey match so far, but both teams are really knowing about each other at the moment. And of course, this isn't the other big. This isn't the biggest. This is not the only game they'll play against each other. It's Jones goes for Gormy, and only missed by inches. Burnley's next game is on a Thursday, March the 5th against Southampton, but they won't be worrying about that at the moment here at Wembley. Because David Jones nearly put them ahead in the cup final. Burnley going into this a good eight points ahead of Chelsea in the league, but in cup finals it's it's who does it on the day. And here comes Chelsea now. Shackle did magnificently well there. He's policed Hazard rather well, I have to say. Policed him ever so well. Coming up towards the 40 minute mark, then of this 
Cup final, there's the corner coming in. Lampard will leave it, but it's a Chelsea throw. Matic to take. William. Matic has continued his run inside the penalty area. There's the cross, and again, good defence where Burnley. They have been very good at the back this afternoon so far. Here's uh, Kane to Vokes. Oh, that's a, that's a crude challenge. He's showing that's got to be a yellow card for John Terry. It was pretty crude by the Chelsea skipper. And Mr. Porton is very much within his rights to book John Terry for that. Very crude by the Chelsea captain. But he knew if Folks got past him, he was through on goal. Referee quite rightly decided to brandish the uh, yellow card. Wicket taken short. Comes to Jones here. And now Kiley. Folks is waiting for intended. The cross is quality enough. It wasn't really from Jones. Then the volley came in. It was charged down. Here's a chance for Stephen Ward now to get in on the act. It's Ward with a shot and hit the post. In fact, he hit the inside of the post and somehow it stayed out. And there is the half time whistle. Well, Stephen Ward nearly made himself a hero then. Folks has come close for Burnley. So too has David Jones. But there's still no breakthrough here at Wembley in this League Cup final. Half time at Wembley. Burnley nil. Chelsea nil. Welcome back to Wembley. There's going to be just before the putting teams come out David Jones is really suffering there so Whelan's going to come on and I think that might be it now but Burnley who have had to play some really tiresome games in the build up to this a European match in a league game in midweek isn't the ideal preparation for a Wembley Cup final two days later if Burnley had to lose it I think uh, I think some of the fixture authorities need to take some of the blame the scheduling of some of the games they should have had this and this Fabregas goes forward and Costa from no more than six yards out inexplicably missed and instead that though Trippier full marks to him because he was putting him off all the while that was a very good bit of defending he put was enough there to put Diego Costa off his stride Shackle Stephen Ward here's Adnan Yanazai well just to bomb down this side Yanazai with a decent looking cross just couldn't find Harry Kane that time just to remind everybody that if it ends a draw after 90 minutes we will have extra time that was a foul but the referee within his rights to play on and Zuma did magnificently there. And again, get it away to Ward. Now Yanazai. It's energy zapping on that Wembley pitch, I can tell you. And Yanazai has made a tremendous run. And Thibaut Courtois just did enough. And now it's back with Diego Costa for Chelsea. And he's away from Shackle but not fast Suma now Lampard looking for options here's Whelan Yanazai Lampard a tackle there well, we've got 25 minutes to go and still we await the first goal in this cup final Here's Trippier. Kitely. And here's Sam Vokes. Using his cutting, using his guile. It's Sam Vokes with a corner. Yes! The breakthrough has arrived at long, long last. And it's Sam Vokes in the 69th minute. He got through. It was a tiresome run. But he got that little bit of luck he deserved. He went in off Thibaut Courtois. Knee it in. And Burnley now have just over 20 minutes to hang on to this precious lead. And they might be on for their first major success since 1960. But here's Vokes now. Can he get another one here? Vokes! Courtois got something on it and got it away. 
William for Chelsea. Burnley's defence now looking rather tired. Ball in there, but Zuma again, not for the first time winning ahead, and the flag has gone up for an offside. John Terry being replaced. To roars of approval from the Burnley fans. Christiansen about to come on. No sign yet of DDA drug bar in this cup final. Tom Eaton who's yet to really to make a telling save in this final with the kick. Straight to Thibaut Courtois. Quarter of an hour just under the play. Burnley 1, Chelsea 0 in the Capital 1 final at Wembley. Burnley well on the way to their first major success since 1960. Kitely. Kane has made a foot forward dash and he's onside. This would settle it now. Harry Kane! Yes! 2 0! And the man who's coming for Danny Inks is injured has just sealed Burnley's victory here at Wembley. Harry Kane, who's coming to the side. And has not let anybody down at all in that finish. Goal number five in this season's copy to one cup. And that might be the one now that wins them the trophy. For the very first time in their history. Well, they hadn't won a cup final of any sort since 1914. Now they're well on course to end in that long, long drought without a cup final victory. And that's been more than three generations in the making this. And now Chelsea's looking to pull one back. What a good tackle there by Trippier. Played the ball clearly. Now, folks, waiting for Kane to make the dash, and here he is now. Back to Volks once again. Kane gets it back a second time. Good tackle again. Nothing wrong with those tackles there from the Chelsea defence. Two added minutes now. And there's a player going down in a heap. And there's going to have to be a change made here. And it's Kitely who's having to come off. Serge Gnabry will come on. And it means Harry Kane's going to... Sam Volks is going to come on now for Ashley Barnes. Or come off and be replaced by Ashley Barnes. This is how Kitely got it. I do think the amount of games that Burnley have had to play in this week. This is their third game in about six days. And I'm not surprised there's tiredness in and around. This will waste a few more seconds. Not much time to go now. Burnley fans can start celebrating in a second. Now they can! It's all over! Burnley have done it. Sam Vokes and Harry Kane, the heroes. And their first major triumph since 1960 has been accomplished. The Burnley fans cock at home. The Burnley players delighted. My goodness, they played three games in the last six days. A European tie on Tuesday. A league game with Liverpool, which should never have been allowed to be played on the Friday. And now two days after that, they've managed to hold out and win the League Cup for the very first time in their history. And we're going to the presentation. Barnes, who got on near the end. Trippier, first winner's medal from Burnley Colours. Frank Lampard has seen everything before with Chelsea. Now the captain, Jason Shackle, will receive the trophy from Craig Clark, the chairman of the Football League. And the cup belongs to Burnley for the very, very first time. Jason Shackle proudly holding it aloft. And the celebrations will go long into the night here at Wembley. Chelsea tried, but Burnley with a better side despite tiring legs and losing Michael Kiley to injury before the end. Let's hope he's okay. The fireworks go off at Wembley and the final score here, Burnley 2, Chelsea 0 and it's Burnley who win the first of potentially four major honours this season and their first success 
since 1960. Well, there we are, viewers, YouTubers. For the first time in almost two generations, Burnley have won silverware. And they've won the first cup final for over 100 years. When they won the FA Cup back, the last cup final they actually won was the FA Cup back in 1914, believe it or not. So, there you are, a little history lesson there, four years I mentioned in commentary. But uh, we've, uh, we've won the Cup 2 now, it's there for all to see. And we thoroughly deserved it, I thought, on the day. But there you go. So, let's just hope we have a player injury. So, Michael Kitely is out for three months. And that is due to the ridiculous scheduling. We've won 85 grand for that League Cup win. But it's important that we put silverware in the cabinet, I have to say. Um, and just a player, Sam Vogts was the player of the competition. Currently out for three months. And that is, and this is what... I just don't understand this scheduling, right? Let's just get one thing straight. It's delightful to have won the League Cup, but to lose two magnificent players in Danny Ings and uh, and obviously we'll, we'll sort Ashley Barnes's wages out another time. To lose two players, Danny Ings and Michael Kiteley, who have been magnificent players. I mean, that just sums this ridiculous situation up. You got you. We had to play Sunderland in the FA Cup. We have basically eight ga four games in eight days. I mean, who makes these fixtures stop? I wouldn't have been told bad if it was just Sunderland against and Dortmund during the week. At least then they would have had four days quality rest time. But to go to Anfield two days before a cup final stunk. I mean, justice has been done in the in the respect that we've won two now, but. You know, again, we've lost two key players in that in that week. We've lost Danny Ings, who missed out in the cup final because of injury. And we've now lost Michael Cartley, possibly, until the end of the season, which is a blow to him because he's been in terrific form and has been terrific. So, But, but it gives opportunity to Serge Gnabry now to have a run in the side and see how he goes to the end of the season. Remember, he's on loan to us from Arsenal, so it's, it's a fantastic opportunity for him. As for us now, well, what about it? Uh, League Cup won for the very first time in the, hist in the history of the football club. And now we now put on. Uh, just some extra news before we leave you. But there will be four games each now for the next two. Uh, for the next two. Um, for the next two videos in March. This is a one-off video because it's a cup final. And I think it deserves its complete and utter devotion to the video. So our next career mode video will include the league games against Southampton, Swansea and Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Southampton at St Mary's by the way. Swansea at Turf Moor and meanwhile we've got a, an FA Cup quarter final and we'll check that out for you now in the FA Cup quarter final because it's uh, uh, we need to check the draw for that as well. So here are the quarter finals as we speak. Arsenal have got Chelsea. Massive game, another massive game there. As you can see, Liverpool against Spurs. Uh, the champion, the last representative left in the Football League, that's Norwich, will take on Manchester United at Carroll Road. And we've got to go to uh, the Britannia for our quarter final with Stoke. So, massive names still left in it. Manchester United, of course, Spurs, Liverpool, Arsenal, and Chelsea still left in it. Norwich are the lowest ranked team left in, the, in this season's FA Cup. But it will be no picnic a trip to Stoke. Nobody likes to go to Stoke City away. Even in the league, let alone the, uh, in the cup. But let's finish on a positive note. We've won the first major trophy of the season. And we've won it very well. Uh, until the next time, YouTubers, keep subscribing to the videos. Keep watching them. And we'll see you for the second video from March. But for all of us here on a day that Burnley won the League Cup and won it well... By two goals to no, I bid you a fun goodbye. Take care. I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.